Hey, how's it going tonight, guys? Jonathan Stringer here, joining you once again for another video. Super excited about tonight's video because it is I, something about just kind of giving you guys a lot of knowledge is exciting, and especially whenever I learn something that just hits me hard, I'm just it. It's mind blowing. It's like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to share it with everybody. And I'm stoked to be able to share this with you guys. And I'm calling this today, this video is Wednesday Wisdom. Okay? Wednesday Wisdom. And so I am excited to go over this with you because it is a golden nugget of wisdom. Something that is really just going to, to help alter your perspective, help change your life, and help you be able to accomplish things that you have not been able to do at this point in your life okay guys so let's dive into it all right i want you to think about yourself right now just reflect on yourself Re really just look at yourself all right do you see yourself as a procrastinator do you do you look in the mirror and do you say why why do i procrastinate so much do you have you ever gone to somebody and said why why am i a procrastinator what makes me procrastinate have you ever found yourself asking that question? If you have, I've got a piece of advice for you. Got a piece of advice, and this comes from, from the bottom of my heart, guys. It's, it's just important that you understand this. I need you to stop lying to yourself. I need you to look at yourself and say, I'm not going to lie to myself anymore. Because I'll be completely honest, there is no such thing as, as procrastination the way that everybody wants to use it. There, there's really no such thing. You, so many people are like, oh, I, I procrastinate. I know in high school, I would always label myself a procrastinator because I, oh man, you better believe the teacher gives out a homework assignment. Well, how many days do I have to do this? Great, I'll get it done the period before it's due. In fact, if the assignment's due at the end of class, maybe I'm doing it during class the day it's due rather than doing it all the days previous, all right? Then you got other people who are just like, man, every time something comes up, if I've got to prepare for a meeting and at work, if I've got to get uh, maybe a, in a, a party planned or prepared for, I've got all these things, I've got family coming in, I need to clean the house, all these different situations, they just put off to the very end, to the very, very last minute. And they're like, I'm, I'm a procrastinator. That's all there is to it. I'm, I just procrastinate. And it's not true. There's, a, there's, there's something that you need to really understand in order to break past that barrier, that procrastinator, that procrastination label that you've given yourself, that other people have given you. And... And really, I mean, it's it, it's simple once you think about it. And I want to ask you something. Right now, like if I was to, if I offered you $2 million, but I said, hey, you got to meet me in New York tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. That means right now, you have to go online. You need to find a ticket. You need to get to the airport, okay? Fly out and get all the way to New York. Then from the... From the uh, from the airport, okay. Maybe I said we need to meet at the the city offices, New York City offices, okay. New New York City city offices. Let me be more clear, okay. And I said let's get there. You would have to find transportation to the airport, get to the airport, have your ticket, have any any necessities you need to bring along with you, your ID, extra money, whatever it is. Once you get there, you need transportation over to the offices. And at that point, you probably need transportation back because you probably have responsibilities going on later that day uh, that you can't really get out of, okay? Where would you see yourself at 6 a.m. the next morning? Be honest with you. Are you you're thinking, I'm, Jonathan, you're going to offer me $2 million. I'm going to be in New York. I'll find a way to get there. I'll... I'll hitchhike there if I have to, you know, I'll go to the airport, wait for whatever open tickets there are, I'll go on every travel site there is, I'll find a ticket that I can take to get to New York, even if that means taking a connecting flight to a connecting flight to a connecting flight and just jumping all over the place. I'll find a way to get there. And you know, you, the reason why, the reason why you can do that 
But when it comes to preparing for your work meeting, when it comes to preparing a, pr a presentation for school, when it comes to cleaning the house, the reason why that can be done, you, you have, well, it's, uh, well, here it's 8 o'clock, okay? And on the East Coast, that means it's 10.30. 10.30, and we've got to be there 6 a.m. in New York, New York time. So we've got eight hours, less than eight hours for us to accomplish that goal. The reason that you can accomplish that is because in your mind, you prioritized it higher than you place anything else that you are procrastinating at this point. Anything else that you're, you're pushing off. I want, there's, there's four levels, four levels uh, of importance that somebody places on something and that is what causes them to maybe get pushed back, okay? Not procrastinate, pro not, no, again, no such thing. What they're doing is they're just saying, oh, other things are more important, okay? So the bottom level, you have not important, okay? That means, say the presentation for your work is on Friday, Monday through Wednesday, you're saying, hey, preparing that presentation, not important. Everything else can come in front of that going to play golf, going to hang out with the friends, taking care of the kids, um, the new TV show, there's a new season uh, finale, I can't miss that. Maybe the game's on, it's a playoff game, I can't miss it. Oh, okay, that's more important. Obviously what you're saying is a playoff game ranks above okay, the not important level. Okay, so you go from not important to somewhat important, okay? And from somewhat, then you've got very important, and from very, you've got an emergency. That's usually where your work presentation falls on Thursday night. When you're sitting there, oh crap, I haven't planned anything. What am I going to do? And so you start scrambling, and you tell the kids and the, the family, say, hey, leave me alone. I've got to do this. I've got to prepare this. And you know what? Turn the cell phone off. I'm not watching any games. I don't want the radio on. In fact, I'm not even getting on the internet because I don't want to be distracted. All I'm going to have is all my work notes together and I'm going to put together everything and that way it's done. Because you just labeled it an emergency. It's that highest level. I want you guys to think about your life, okay? Whenever you remember New York example, you meet me in New York to get $2 million, that was just a priority that was just an emergency level you said if I don't make it to New York by 6 a.m. tomorrow morning I'm missing out on two million dollars that can change my life it's an emergency for you okay I, you've got to examine your life okay guys this is a short video tonight because I just want this to be something very impactful I just want you to be able to get it grasp it understand it and apply it in your life I challenge you. I challenge you tonight. Don't wait, okay? Make this an emergency. I challenge you tonight to look at your life. Reflect on yourself. Figure out what is important to you. Figure out what, what levels of importance you put certain issues in your life. All right? And for everybody, it's going to be different. For somebody, they, they might say, well... Um, you, you know, I heard, I heard somebody talking about this the other day. They said, you know, if my kid forgets their homework at home, it's, it's not really that important to me. It's somewhat important because I, I feel bad. I don't want them to fail, but I've got other stuff I've got to get done. I've got other obligations. So it, they should have been responsible for it, okay? If, they, if their kid forgets their lunch, they're saying that's not important. My kid can go and borrow some money and pay a friend back later. My kid can, I mean, honestly, my kid probably should have brought their lunch with them. You know, they were talking about these different things. For you, you might say, you know what? My kid's my number one priority. That's an emergency for me. But if a friend calls me up and says, hey, I need some help, that may fall, depending on what friend it is especially, that may fall somewhat important, not important. Okay, if it's a friend who's always getting into issues because it's their fault, you may say, hey, that's your mess, you deal with it. Don't make your issues my emergency. Guys, I want you to examine your life. Like I said, I challenge you. Look at your life and start placing value on your time. Start finding out what's important to you, 
and what level of importance it is. So that way, as you're coming up, as you're, as events are coming into your life, as prior, as um, tasks are coming to you, maybe it's from work, from the family, from a business, from all these different sources. You can look at it and you can say, okay, well that one, that one, and that one is what I need to get done now. Everything else can wait. And then if something in an emergency pops up, you know ahead of time, hey, if anything in this sphere of my life happens, if anything following these certain guidelines happens, that's an emergency. I put everything else aside. Guys, once you learn to prioritize your time, once you learn what the value of your time is and how you value other items that are coming into your life, once you do that, you're unstoppable. There is no such thing as procrastination. All you're doing is ranking something below others. So find the items that are most important to you to get done and you'll stop putting aside your goals. You're, you'll stop procrastinating and, and putting off your ambitions because at that point, once you have it written down, once you have it decided within yourself, you need to be honest with yourself. Don't don't lie to yourself. Like the video says, stop lying to yourself, okay? Not just about procrastination, but don't tell yourself that something's important and then you don't do, people say, oh, fitness is important to me. Well, what are they doing whenever they, they wake up? They don't do anything. What are they doing when they, when they eat? They eat whatever they want, as much as they want, as often as they want, okay? Whenever you talk to them about working out, they're like, I don't wanna hear it. Whenever they work out, they, they're they just like, oh my gosh, I hate this, okay? If you can get them, like generally it's not gonna happen, they're not gonna go work out, but they hate it when they're doing it, okay? And I don't just mean like dislike it, like they're uncomfortable, because working out's uncomfortable, but I mean like, they're just like, I would really rather be doing anything, and if it wasn't for you dragging me here, I would not be here. Because they, they're lying to themselves. They're telling themselves that fitness is important, but they're not acting out on it. So be honest with yourself. Find out where your values are, and when you do that, when you do that, you will become a master of your time. You'll become a master of production and of accomplishment. People will start to look to you, and they'll say, I wish I could be like you. And then you can just teach them. You can say, hey, it's easy. It's these four steps. Emergency, very important, somewhat important, not important. And they'll, you can tell them, hey, categorize all the items in your life. When you do that, only do the first ones, okay? Once you get those done, then you can move on. But only do the first things first. Let's spread it, guys. Let's spread it because so many people have so much potential. You have potential. You can be extraordinary. You can live an amazing life. You can be phenomenal. But the thing is, you've got to go out and put in the effort. I believe in you guys, and I know that you can become more than you even are right now. Remember, extraordinary and ordinary are only separated by just a little extra. Hope you guys have an amazing night. Thanks for joining me. And I look forward to talking to you guys again soon.